Hey guys, it's G Man here back at again in our Dragonville video. Today they just released a new dragon into Dragonville, so I'm so excited for today. So let's get on into this though. So, shoot! Hello! Hey guys, it's G Man here back at again in our Dragonville video. Today I'm so excited because we just got a new dragon into Dragonville called the Rosebud Dragon. This can only be bred within the new breeding cave we got recently. It can also be bred within the co-op breeding cave if you already own one or if your friend owns one and you breed with him. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to breed this dragon. So let me on head on into the breeding hints and we'll look up earth and also fire. So I'm going to go over there right now guys. Okay, there we go. Now let's find that dragon, that cutie, Rosebud. So... There it is, guys. You require a Rose Dragon, the new Breeding Cave, and also an Earth Dragon or Earth Elder Dragon. So that's what I used to get it, though. And I also used a Rose Dragon and also a Forest Dragon to get it. So the Breeding Pair of Dragons must contain the Rose Dragon and the Earth Element and can only be bred within the new Breeding Cave. And can also be bred within the Co-op Breeding Cave if you already own one or you breed with a friend who has one. Just want to give you guys that heads up. You can breed it in the Co-op Breeding Cave. But it's a lot harder. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for this, guys. You can also purchase him, too, from the limited time area. But the sad thing is, he's only three days in the event area, so you can only get him for three days, guys. So by Monday, he'll be gone. So this dragon will be harder to breed or harder to obtain than usual. So this was a big surprise when they released it today, guys. So those are the dragons I use. I use a Rose Dragon, and I also use a Forest Dragon. So those are the two dragons I used. Now let's go hatch that dragon. I have him right over here in my Legendary Nursery. Now let's hatch this. Here we go. The Rosebud Dragon, pretty cute. Looks like a little sprout almost. There's the egg, guys. Pretty cool egg. Now let's hatch that. There we go, the Rosebud Dragon, such a cutie. So this is one of the dragons that's actually in the loading screen too. So that means we're only missing three more dragons now from the event area. We're only missing now the Chaka Hollow Dragon, um, the Billaby Dragon, and also the new Hidden Dragon. So this is the Rosebud Dragon out of its teen form. It has an 18 hour incubation guys and has normal breeding odds and at level 11 he'll get slightly better breeding odds. I'm going to show you the max amount of gold he'll produce at level 22. Okay, so here we go. Let's go to level 20 guys. He's got those slightly better breeding odds. Better breeding odds. And there we go. He's now level 20 guys. He'll produce 330 gold a minute. A plant, fire, earth dragon, and also air. Forgot to say air. And I named him Dragon. I don't always name a dragon's dragons, unless they're epics, then I named them legendary. So that is the new Rosebud Dragon, guys. Pretty cool. I'll place this in the co-op breeding cave for you guys. So actually, I just forgot about to do that. Let me actually do that right now. There we go. We got the Rosebud Dragon. And I'll actually place them in the breeding cave right now for you guys. Okay, let's remove this dragon right here. I don't know what's breeding. I probably got something really rare. So here we go. Let me place my Rosebud with a dragon. There we go. Okay, guys, so we now have our two dragons breeding in the co-op breeding cave, and you guys are now able to breed it. But if you did enjoy the video, though, make sure to smash that like button. Stay tuned for more of my videos, and I'll see you guys next video. G-Man, out. Well, if you guys did enjoy this video today, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, you guys are always the best. But until then, I'll see you next time in the next video. G-Man, out.